Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Snowbirds cancel six shows in May. Helicopter Wimbaugh sells 200th Cabri G2. And Rockford, Illinois Airfest suspended indefinitely. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's May 18th, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The Canadian Snowboards Precision Demonstration Team has canceled six appearances in the U.S. and Canada this month and will be returning to Canada for additional practice and training, according to the team itself. U.S. appearances that have been canceled include Quonset Air National Guard Base, Rhode Island, Whiteman, Missouri, and Duluth, Minnesota. In Canada, the team has pulled out of air shows in Fort Erie and Windsor, Ontario. The Snowbirds explain, we have decided to undertake additional practice and training from our home base at 15 Wing Moose Jaw before returning to our 2017 scheduled air performance season. While we have had several well-executed shows and practices early in the season, our team lead has determined that additional training is required. Major Patrick Goble, team lead Snowbird, said, A reduced training period hampered by poor weather, which continued into the show season, resulted in numerous canceled practices. As a result, more training is required before the Snowbirds resume the 2017 schedule. We have canceled our participation in some upcoming air shows and intend to return to the air show circuit once we have the consistency required for our dynamic nine aircraft aerobatic performance. The team expects to return in June. The 200th Cabri G2 to be produced will be delivered to UK and Ireland distributor Heli Group. The aircraft will be a central feature at the British event Heli UK Expo, which is being held at Wycombe Air Park on June 1st through 3rd, 2017, and will bring the UK fleet to 28 aircraft. Helicopters Guimbao will be hosting an inaugural launch event for serial number 1200 at the factory in Les Mieux, France, before it is flown to the UK for the show. To mark the occasion, serial number 1200 will have a unique paint job. Both Helicopter Guimbao and Heli Group will be keeping the livery confidential until the unveiling at the inaugural launch event in France. Heli Group will be using serial number 1200 to visit a number of the UK flight training organizations in the summer in order to showcase the Cabri G2. Additionally, Heli Group are expected to place an order for four Cabri G2s for delivery in 2018. Heli Group are the UK distributors for Helicopters Guimbal Heli Group, who recently opened a training and sales office for the Cabri G2 and Airbus Helicopters UK facility at London Oxford Airport is an operator providing helicopter training, charter management, and sales. After the break, another air show gets canceled. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Adventure offers Rotax 912 power, a basic instrument panel, and radios. Fly it away for under $120,000. Visit SeaRay.com for more details. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B Models. The B Models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aerial TV, the new AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aerial-news.net. 
the Rockford Air Fest has been suspended indefinitely because it essentially had gotten too popular, according to the media reports. The event had been canceled in 2016 due to a conflict with another event, but was reportedly back on for June 3rd through 4th, 2017. The Blue Angels had been confirmed as the headline act. But Chicago Rockford International Airport Executive Director Mike Dunn sent out an email in December saying that the event had been suspended indefinitely, in part because the traffic congestion incurred by Airfest would put a heavy burden on the operations of new businesses on the airport. But an investigation conducted by the area's Eyewitness News, made up of television stations WTVO and WQRF, found that none of the businesses cited had expressed any concern about the air show. Also curious was that there seems to be no record of any discussion of the cancellation at a public meeting of the seven-member airport board. The cancellation never appeared on the agenda, and it was never put to a vote of the board. Cicero said that the Airfest had done its job as the recruiting tool to attract business to the airport, and now that several successful businesses have been attracted to the location, the show had become irrelevant. We are not an entertainment venue, said Cicero. Ouch. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. Get ready for OSH 17 and Aerial TV's 10th anniversary. In the 20 plus year history of ADN, there have been a number of milestones, but none have had as great an effect as the introduction of our daily Aerial TV video products July of 2007. There will be much to celebrate at Oshkosh this year as ANN, and Aerial TV, Airborne, and other programs get to enjoy the 10th anniversary of aviation's first 24-7, 365 days a year news service and our debut of daily video features and news programming. ANN has a number of ideas about how to celebrate this milestone, but most of all, we're looking forward to detailing the next big leap in aviation news programming, even bigger than what we started over 20 years ago by becoming aviation's first real-time online news organization. We have huge plans for the future, the most aggressive plans we've ever undertaken, a way to significantly raise the bar in terms of how the aviation world is entertained, educated, informed, and brought together, and most of all, a way to rebuild aviation's ranks and the community that populates it. Take our word for it. We have an amazing plan in the works, but we also want to take the time to say thanks for your support, encouragement, great ideas, and input. We couldn't have done it without you, and we promise you, you ain't seen nothing yet. After these messages, Textron upgrades product support. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Textron has added a second mobile service unit to its Doncaster Service Center's fleet, providing Citation, King Air, and Hawker customers additional flexibility for scheduled and unscheduled maintenance events. Additionally, the facility recently received foreign approvals from Aruba, Bermuda, and Qatar, allowing the Doncaster Service Center and the London Luton Line Maintenance Station to provide maintenance to aircraft registered in those countries. Two NASA astronauts will be honored May 19th 
when they are inducted into the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame. This year's honorees include Ellen Ochoa, the first Latina woman to go into space and current director of NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, and former astronaut Michael Fole, the only U.S. astronaut to serve on both the International Space Station and Russian Space Station Mir. GoGo has announced K5 Aviation as its first 2KU business aviation customer in Europe. The first airframe in the business aviation that will fly with GoGo's 2KU technology is an Airbus ACJ319 operated by K5 Aviation, a leading operator of ACJ aircraft based in Germany. Fokker Services BV managed the 2KU installation design and system integration, including the EASA STC. Philip 66 has added new organizations to its Compassion Flight Fuel Rebate Program. Aviation Angels of Hope Aviation in Action and Children's Flight of Hope bolster the list bringing the total eligible organizations to more than 30. Launched in June 2010, the Compassion Flight Fuel Rebate Program offers pilot a $1 per gallon of gas rebate when they provide free air transportation to seriously ill children and adults. ExxonMobil has announced that MobileJet Oil 387, a synthetic high-performance capability turbine engine oil, has been approved by Pratt & Whitney for use in its popular series of PW4000 engines. Pratt & Whitney's PW4000 engines are used to power some of the world's most widely used aircraft, such as the Airbus A300, A310, A330, and Boeing 747-767. 777 and KC-46. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's get back to the rest of the news. Drone pilots who want to fly their drones in furtherance of a business have a fun and quick way to prepare to pass the required Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate written test with version 2.0 of the King School's Drone Pilot License Test Prep Course. John King, co-chairman of King Schools, said, Since it was released in January of 2017, over a thousand drone operators have passed the test using version 1.0 of our course. We have more than 70 reviews for this course and almost all of them have a five-star rating. We've added more humor, video, and graphics to make things clearer and more fun. Martha King, the other co-chairman of King Schools, added, Probably the most difficult subject on the knowledge test for the remote pilot certificate is airspace. That's where our 33 years of experience and teaching with video really pays off. The King course gets drone pilots ready to pass the FAA test and gives them the tools they need to both safely integrate into the national airspace system and stay out of trouble with the FAA. The course is the result of collaboration between King Schools and AUVSI. The course can be purchased at an introductory price of $99 until July 1st, 2017. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, for additional breaking news bulletins from important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest in aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.